t e r m i s have more population than human in the world, but we don't see them often because they live underground. We have no chance to know where they are easily. They are everywhere underground. If we think that t e r m i t e is our enemy, t e r m i t e ruin everything that we have, and we want to kill them, it would be very hard work and big job. Because t e r m i t e there are many variety of them in the world. Some of them live on the trees like this. Some of them live above the ground. They make a big house like this. Most of t e r m i t e live above the ground. Even some of them who live on the tree, but they're still looking for food underground too. They are everywhere. Most of people believe that termites can kill the trees. Termite is a big problem for most of farmer. That's why people use a lot of chemical to kill termites. But actually, termite never kill the trees because they don't eat the. Alive trees. You can see they make a line up on the tree like this, but they eat only the dead part of the trees. They never eat the fresh part of the tree, because the uh, the tree that's still alive, they have some sap or something toxic to termite. That's why termite never eat the tree that's still alive or the wood that's still fresh. They never eat it. They will wait until it totally die. But when people look at the dead tree like this one, and you can see the line of termites on the tree, and when you look at the bottom of the tree, you can see a lot of termites eating the bottom of the tree like this. Most of people believe that termites kill the trees, but actually, termites did not kill the trees. But the tree can die because of. Virus because of bacteria or something else that kill the trees, so the termites just come to eat the part that's already dead. The main job of the termite is to digest the dead wood, dead branches, into the soil, into good food, or make it into humus to make help them to decompose faster. That's why when we plant something on top of the old termite mouth. They always grow better and have very high yield than somewhere else. So, termite is very important for farming. We have free worker who work very hard to develop the soil for us with no payment. Termite's life is very interesting. This is their house, their food under the. Termites mouth. They collecting a lot of rotten wood like this. They use rotten wood to make something like a sponge like this. That's their food. And then they lay eggs in this thing. When the eggs hatch, they start to eat this part and become another termites. So this part is very important because it's the food for their baby, and in the same time, it's good food for many kind of. Microorganism, including some kind of fungi. In tropical country, there are many different kind of fungi that grow from this part of termites because it's very high nutrition in this part for the plant of fungi. And this is the kind of fungi that we eat a lot. It's so popular. It's very expensive. There are many kind of fungi that grow from termites. We eat all, all of them. In each termites colonies, they always have one queen, and then the queen will have the palace to live. This is the palace of the termites queen. They will be harder than another part of uh, the termites mouth, and then it will be protected very well. The queen will be inside, and then a lot of soldier will take care of them, will guard them. If we open it, we will see one big animal inside. It doesn't look like termites at all, but that is the queen. So the queen will not go anywhere. They just live in the palace, have sex, and 
lay egg, have sex and lay eggs. It sounds like it's not very fun to be the termite queen it's because you cannot go anywhere. So it's not very fun to be termite queen. But they work hard to lay eggs. When we kill or some of population of them die, when we spray some of them die, they will propagate more. The queen will lay more eggs, double or triple, to replace the dead part of their population. That's why when we spray them, we kill them, they still keep coming, never end. So we don't have enough chemical to kill all of termites in the world. That's why we don't need to be enemy of the termites. Even we don't like them, but we need to learn how to be with them peacefully. Many people don't like them because they move to our house. They ruin our house. We don't like them, but actually they move to our house because we invade their territory. We live on their town. We try to control them, try to kill them. We spray them every six months, every year, but they never die. They always come back. So the solution is to make a thick and wide floor before we build a house. Make the concrete floor thick and wide, and then we build our house on top of it. This way will help to keep them away from our house pretty much, pretty good. So if not, they will come. So learn to be with termites is not hard, but if we become enemy with them, it's a lot harder. There are so many termite mouths in our land. Many people like to use tractor or backhoe to clear them, to take them down. That means we ruin their town, their city, and then they have no place to live. That's why they have to move to our house. So if we understand them, they're useful for us, they're good for us. We don't need to kill them. We have a lot of termites in our place, but we haven't seen any termites that eat fresh wood or fresh trees or the tree that's still alive so far. That's why I feel like most of you have misunderstanding about termites. So they are good friends, they are not enemies.